Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Today we are jumping back in Scum and we are of course playing on Europe Official 1 and we are going to pick up over at the C2 outpost. It was the middle of the night so I wanted to buy myself some night vision goggles. But on my way to the trader I saw a bunch of players pushing around what was left of a car. It didn't have any wheels or anything else for that matter but it was unlocked so I quickly locked it and then sold it for around 5 grand. It was worth about 9 but the trader didn't have enough money but 5 grand was all I needed to buy myself some night vision goggles. Alright, well, we just sold these people's car and now they're upset. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am very sorry, but you can't just leave your car unlocked like that and expect me not to sell it. So I used the 5000 bucks and got myself a pair of night vision and after that I left the outpost and went out looting. I found a random chest in a bush and I got some bullets and a few other things from it. Then I found another chest under some stairs. Unfortunately it didn't really have anything of use. And after that I found something very surprising. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. There's an armed improvised landmine on the table. I thought it was a bottle of juice. <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? I was like, oh, it's just a bottle on the table. It's an improvised landmine and it's armed. Are you kidding me right now? I mean, there's no way of somebody actually triggering this, right? Unless they step on it. So why is it planted on the bloody table? <laughs> it's armed. Look at this. Improvised landmine armed. Good lord. Usually I destroy any and all landmines that I come across either by stepping in them or by blasting them. But this one was up on the table so the only way of triggering it was if somebody actually jumped up on the table. So it wasn't all that dangerous. So I left it there and I went about my business, looting and traveling, up until I got hungry in real life. And since the server was full, I decided to lock myself in this room and have a quick snack. Oh my god. There's a guy. There's a guy not munching over here. There's a guy outside. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was AFK in here eating a bloody sandwich. Oh lord, that scared the absolute crap out of me. <laughs> I was AFK. I was AFK marching. M1 rifle. Whoa, look at this thing. Holy crap, okay. I mean, this guy's probably on his way back. Let me just put this here. Wait, this guy is fresh with an M1 rifle and an AK. Oh, this guy is coming back. He's on his way back. Alright, I'm dropping this. I'm getting this. An AK with a drum magazine and a suppressed M1. Yeah. Big backpack. Another drum mag. Oh, look at all this AK ammunition. What the hell? Classic. Oh, we got a bank card. All right. All right, this is it. We're out. We are out of here as fast as we can. This guy is fresh with all this cool stuff. He's got a base nearby and he's coming back. He's probably already here. Run away. 
an AK with a drum magazine, a spare drum, tons and tons of boxes of 7.62 for the AK, a suppressed M1 with a sweet scope, oh yeah, and he was fresh. Fresh spawn clothes and a hiking backpack, yeah, no, 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 this guy is coming back, he's got a base in the woods here somewhere. Oh my god, that's bad. Is he's back? He found me, really? This guy legit found me. And he killed me? There is no way! Good on him. How did he find me so fast? I wish sector response and base response weren't a thing, just random response, because it takes away from the fun encounters. You kill somebody and then, oh, here we go, they're back. They're back from their base with the coolest sniper rifle ever. <laughs> and just like that, we lost all of our gear. And whenever I lose a fight, I choose a random respawn. And I actually respawned up in sector D1, not too far away from a small town. So I went over there and looted the police station. I found a backpack and some clothes. And after that, I decided to run over to D0 and hit up the radar station because over there, more often than not, we can find some really good gear on top of these towers. Alright, let's see, what do we have up here? The last time I was here, I found the SCAR in the VHS and today, the VHS. <laughs> the cool one as well. Nice. Now since I was in the area, I decided to also go over to the D0 bunker and see if I could find the magazine and some bullets for the VHS. Alright, well, I'm gonna quickly check this building right here and if I can find something interesting, I'll head down in the bunker as well. Because I don't really have the means to take out any zombies right now besides this knife. But if we find something cool in here, I'll head down in the bunker as well. But for right now, I'm just gonna take a quick peek in here, and then I'm gonna be on my way. Here we go. Let's see. Any luck? Ooh. HS9. HS- Oh my god. Come on. We can't, right? This doesn't go on this. Right, go over here. I got the HS9 and a magazine for the HS SF19. Right, let me see. Nope. Damn it. Damn it. Well, at the very least, we got a pistol. Oh boy. Please? Please? One by one, please. Hey, buddy, come on. You're first, come on. Oh no, not you! Shit. Well, as long as that guy doesn't trigger. There we go. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah. There we go. Alright, alright. We can do this, we can do this. We just have to be very... Very careful When it comes to the zombies. If there's a guy down here, I'm screwed because I got five bullets in this single loading pistol Don't have a magazine or nothing Come on, come on I just need a magazine for this pistol and I'll be happy And a couple more bullets some more 9mm would be great as well Come on, I need a bit of luck. You've done me dirty today, video game. I need some luck. I need some good loots. Uh, looks clear. May not be, but looks like it. Please, just a magazine for this. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Good vest. A holster, I'll take that as well. That I don't care about. 
If I can get a magazine for this pistol and a few more bullets for it, I'll be happy. We're not gonna be able to open up any of these containers. Don't have any screwdrivers, don't have any lockpicks. So we're just gonna hope for the best. A block magazine, come on! Night vision, oh my god, alright. Now that's what I call loot. Oh, a sewing kit, that's very useful as well. Alright, there's some really good stuff here actually. But with my luck, I'm probably not gonna find the magazine for this pistol, which is really what I want. I actually did not find a magazine for the HS9 pistol, but by the time that I left the bunker, I did find a different pistol, the Black 21 pistol, with a magazine and some bullets for it. Unfortunately, I did not find anything for the VHS and I couldn't open up the locked containers either because I did not have any screwdrivers or a crowbar to force them open. But after leaving the bunker, I went over to the city outpost and sold some of the extra loot that I found and after that, I went over to the dam. Alright, so we're over at the dam. We're gonna take a quick look around. I'm not gonna loot outside because it's so exposed. I mean, look at all those mountains and up there as well. So we're actually gonna go inside because there are a bunch of locked containers that we can check out. There's a puppet after me. I don't wanna fight puppets either. But I'm gonna have to. What the? Come on, go down. Go down. Damn it. Leave me alone. Right, so as I was saying, I don't want to stay outside <laughs> all that much because of the uh, of the mountains. So what we're going to do, we're going to go straight for that big building. Right over there. I think I can just actually do this really fast. Uh, there we go. So we're going to go straight for the big building. Because we have a bunch of locked containers inside of it. So hopefully we're gonna get ourselves some interesting loot. Hey buddy. Come on. There we go. I need to get myself a better melee weapon. Alright, so we're going right for this building here. There goes the mech. And there we go as well. I'm gonna use the small door up here, not the big door. The big door is sketchy. What? So we're gonna open up some of these. As many as we can. I have about five screwdrivers. Where'd you go? Hey. Come on over here. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Let's see. Maybe we can find some more screwdrivers around here. Probably not, but it's worth a shot. Just so we can open some more containers. There's quite a few locked containers here. On that wall there and... I think over here as well. Let's see, any lock? Any lock? None whatsoever? Nope. Nope. Oh, there's an egg here. Oh, another pair of night vision, right? <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll take it. Unfortunately, the locked containers didn't really have any interesting loot, just some bullets and a scope and whatnot, but I did manage to find something interesting over at the boot camp with the remains of a player that I may or may not have blasted while I was not recording. He didn't have any weapons, he just had a bow, 
but he did have a suppressor for our pistol, tons of bullets, night vision as well, so I filled up the backpack with as much loot as I could carry and I sold that loot over at the B4 outpost. And there we have it, that is about it for today in Scum, thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next one with some more video games.